<laughs> I think yeah, they have we never trout. caught any fish today. <laughs> hey, we got no fish today. Oh, this is my granddaughter. This is her first time fishing, so she just bought a new uh, pole and new equipment, and we're trying it out. <laughs> You know, because I'm in the legislature, we, 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 we hear about all these different programs and, and the potential threats to them as well, so it's crucial. You know, people who have a, a little bit, yeah, reel it in a little more. People who have a lot of money don't need parks like this. They can go off on vacations to cabins in the mountains or lakes or the ocean and fish. But for most people in the city, this is their one chance for them to show their kids, uh, you know, how to... How, how to fish, or how to, how to swim, how to paddle a boat, all the things that, that these projects make possible. So I think this is just one more example of how important these public programs are for the public. Th that's why I emphasize that wealthy people are making these decisions. The people in Congress tend to be much wealthier than the ordinary American. The president tends to be much wealthier than the ordinary. The Secretary of Interior tends to be very wealthy, much more than the ordinary American. The ordinary Americans are the ones that benefit from that fund. So to have people that don't even need it or never have taken advantage of it make the decision to do away with it is particularly upsetting and, and really unfortunate. And I don't think I'll wear it for now. No, I don't think you should. <laughs> we'll take it home and wash it. <laughs> well, yeah, people need parks and these are days when we realize parks need people because we need to save that fund. Okay, here you go. Can you hold it? Yep, I can. <laughs>